What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is B Hackett yet again. I'm going to be pulling 220 PSN cards here and legendary packs, and hopefully, we can get something good. So, jump right in here. Um, if you didn't watch my previous video, I have got two. Oh, first pack Brian Erlacher. Sweet. I do already have one of those, but he is worth roughly. <sighs> I hate to say this because they're changing in value every single day, but I would say he's about anywhere from 600 to 800,000 coins. So that's a pretty good pull right there. My coins are uh, they are plummeting to say the least. I've been pulling a ton of gold premium packs and legendary packs trying to get these ghost cards to not only keep up to show you guys, but just to pull some deals. It seems like I can't trade anything other than ghost cards right now. Um, kind of sucks. Had some really good cards and nobody really wants them. Everybody's really after these ghost cards. So maybe that's my cue to stop trading for a while, but we'll see here. Uh, but pulling these, I don't know why I pull gold premium pack in between here, but just to waste time or do something. So, but I end up pulling that. Hell either. I've been uh, consistently just throwing these up for 30,000. Um, I don't need them and they sell really quick. So if you get them in gold premium packs, it's pretty cool because then you could pretty much buy like six packs, I think it is. So it's pretty much six free packs if you want to look at it that way. But uh, it seems like there's, my friends and I were talking about this, where it seems like there's waves of these cards where sometimes you'll pull one and it seems like they're much more common for the next little bit of time. This is nowhere proven anywhere and it seems like it's just blind luck sometimes. But it seems like once I pull one ghost card, it seems like more are to come. Um, my friend, the Big Ragu, and the Splasher and I were we're all on Skype talking to each other because we're all in different states, but we were all pulling packs at the same time, and it seems like like the Big Ragu would pull one, and then all of a sudden the Splasher and I started pulling them. I don't, I have no idea if that's coincidence, and it's probably just a theory. And if that's the case, then we need to let everybody know when they're uh, starting to pull the gold card or the ghost cards, so we can start pulling them. But with all with all these releases, they're uh, they're making things very weird with the the ghost cards making all the values go down on most of the legendary cards. Um, the new legends are keeping their value just because they're new and they're so rare. But most of your old legends are just dropping ridiculously. Like Boost Lawrence Taylor, I think he's under a million now. Boost Rod Woodson, I think he's selling for anywhere from like 500 to 700k, which is ridiculous. Those are those are two essential pieces for an elite team with those boosts. I think there's three players that every elite team should. I say should because all these new, new Ghost cards are probably changing it a little bit, but three that I will always have on my team no matter what build I run are Boost Lawrence Taylor. Boost Rod Woodson and boosted Deion Sanders, which is prime time Dallas Deion. Those three boost your entire team, and I don't see building a team without those guys really. But what can you do? So weekend weekend full of trading. I did get all my new team 99 skill 100 chemistry here, which is awesome. I was really working hard for that, and pretty much spent almost all my coins so gonna be uh, working here to build those coins back up and won't be buying legendary packs for a while because these are all my Christmas gifts and they're over and with the hundred and forty dollars I spent selling this couple cards as well as this forty dollars here I really didn't get very much at all I'm just not having very good luck with them but I really don't know these gold premium packs, if I happen to get lucky, um, another one I wanted to discuss was Champ Bailey. I cannot get over how expensive and what people are trading for him. I know he's new and rare, but he's not worth selling a Reggie White. 
people are just going nuts for this card. And he's, in my opinion, he's not even as good as Asante. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section. Like, subscribe, favorite the video as always. And plenty more videos to come. And I'll keep updating with uh, the ghost cards that I pull and trade for. And try to keep track of these crazy card changing values. But as always, take care and God bless. And I'll see you guys next time.